Hey everyone, it's been a while. So uh, I've been this week to a new place here. So I've just moved to Brussels and uh, I've been to B-Scope. So I don't know if you know what it is. It's a, it's a co-op and uh, it's basically a grocery uh, store. And, um, and I had such a great experience. I wanted to share it with you. You know, I don't know if it's the same for you, but when I was a kid, I always loved going to, you know, grocery shopping with my grandma. It was nice. She would always buy me like the things I wanted. And we would go to those massive kind of, uh, you know, uh, supermarkets, right? When you have everything. And I really loved it as a kid. But really increasingly so in the last couple of years, like I became like much and more, uh, more and more like kind of um, um, unhappy going to those places. I kind of, I don't like those places anymore. Like you are being kind of bombarded with all of those marketing messages, like uh, one plus one free and, and get my attention here or there. And there's all of those brands that I honestly don't trust anymore. You know, from Nutella who is full of palm oil and and all of those other brands that you never know what they actually put inside of their things. Because the reality is that all of those big companies, Nestle and so on, like they, at the end of the day, they don't really care that much about our health. They care about, you know, their shareholders, right? And so now I want to eat organic. I want to eat locally produced food and, and something that is kind of, uh, uh, also that respect the producers. And when you go to this uh, B-Scope, and uh, because it's a co-op, right, a cooperative, like you can tell that the, the incentives are very different. The incentive, the primary incentive is not anymore to maximize profit. And, and then you go into that place and you see a lot of really like um, great products, really. And, uh, and it feels great. And also like this whole atmosphere where actually to be able to go there, so you can go as a guest and you have it for a month, and that's what I've been doing. But, uh, and after that, if you wanna go there, you actually need to participate. You need to be a cooperator, which basically means that you need to dedicate three hours per month um, to help with various different things. And so that kind of creates also like a sense of community. And you go there and people help you. Um, they also have a section for things that you buy, you know, with a container, like so to reduce the waste, right? So you, you can be zero waste if you want. Um, so anyway, so I think like you should totally check it out if you're in Brussels. Um, I'm sure like this is something that is, it's a movement. Like you can tell in, in many cities increasingly, like there are those cooperatives that are being developed. I know that in Brooklyn, uh, there is also a big one there, uh, in other places as well. And so I personally believe that this is the future. This is the future of, um, of the way we're gonna, you know, especially for those services and companies that kind of provide a commodity service like there is not much innovation going on in the supermarket space right it's something that is well understood we know it works and and so for all of those places where the innovation has already happened uh, i think we're going to increasingly see emerging citizen initiatives to kind of take control over those um those concepts right to make it so that you know they're gonna stop trying to squeeze any bit of profit that they can and make sure that this is working for the community and not just for a couple of shareholders. Um, so yeah, uh, if, let me know if, you are, uh, if you've heard of other initiatives like that. Uh, this is great. So uh, I invite you to participate this, um, this kind of uh, renaissance in a way where citizens are taking ownership and start rebuilding the different services that we need to not only provide for our needs, but to also rebuild our communities. All right, have a great one. Take care.